Ladies and gentlemen, this is Vivek and this is why General MacArthur is overrated featuring the Fatrician unsubscribe podcast and subscribe clips. As far as I know, General MacArthur that's the World War 2 general in Pacific Theater, right? Uh, American. Uh, I've heard of like uh, some mentions of him from Fatrician like basically talking like this so it makes sense. Probably this is going to be Fatrician rant, let's be honest. I don't know much about General, General MacArthur like that why he was over there or how he was in general so this is going to be really interesting video for me but yeah usually when it's like Fatrician is involved historically is going to be interesting I guess I just saw the sniper video on Fatrician like I posted the second part yesterday and it was like the one of the most ridiculous story of all time Fatrician is uniquely qualified to give his take on shit like this so let's always one General MacArthur is the most overrated general in the history of America by a factor that's not even quantifiable. It's ridiculous how much I don't like this guy and how bad of a general he actually was. So General MacArthur is in the Philippines when the Japanese initiate World War II on America, right? Yes. And General MacArthur gets an order to abandon the Philippines. So PT boat operatives, I don't know how much you know about PT boats, mm -hmm. literally like wooden fucking speed boats come in and pick him up in the middle of the night and fucking whisk him away to safety while he abandons all of his men to die and face a baton death march alone, which I don't know how much you know about like, you know. Oh, the baton pe death. People like, you know, like being in theater and then your leader just like, peace, bye. <laughs> I know Fucking that. Fucking figure it out. Like, My lieutenant colonel quit. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> so, like, not not very encouraging. So he just, like, abandons his men. And the counter argument to that is, like, well, he was ordered by the president to abandon his men. Now, personally, I'm against that. I'm, like, a big, you know, like, captain goes down with the ship kind of guy. Like, I... I don't know this for sure, but I like to think I would ignore that order. I feel like a lot of other historic people that I look up to would have also ignored that fucking order, but he didn't. See, there's two ways of thinking this. When you just hear this sentence, uh, this is how psychology works. When you just hear this without much of context or feel behind it, you will come uh, with like a, you know, like a wrong assumption, right? So when you hear that like captain goes down with the boat, uh, General MacArthur shouldn't have done this. You're like, why have a needless death? Everybody was gonna die. Why have need? But then again, every one of those needless people that are gonna die gonna have needless death. The war itself is needless, right? In the end, you're defending the country. Your people that you're asking them to die for you and your country are gonna have a needless death. So how do you justify you as a general? giving an order basically to die for you know for you basically because this that's how chain of command is you're giving them order not the country not the president you're the one that's giving them the order that's what they know and then basically fucks off like that why have a needless death everybody's death is going to be needless right uh, you know uh, why should uh, you know captain should go down with the board when captain can just like you know run away that's not how things work right Every death is going to be needless, but that's the point. It's a war. How do you ask your people to die when you fuck off, right? It's your command, right? In the end, he should have like, no, I'm going to stay. I'm going to try to do something. If not, then not, I guess we all going to die because he's the command, right? He is the structure. Everybody below him is like a, uh, the, this kind of like machine, right? If this is machine, everybody's a cog. He's like a control center of the cog. Without that, how does anything work? So how do you fuck off where your people die, right? That just feels weird, right? It's like one of those things. Sure, you can say like, why have needless death? But all death is going to be needless, right? The whole war is needless. 100 million people die, that was needless. Like in the end, it's like how you see things, right? I'm not the arbiter of reality. I don't get to choose morality. Maybe he values following orders over doing the right thing. And maybe that is the right thing. I don't know. But then you fast forward to the Korean War and he gets orders to fucking stand by. Like, so if you don't know much about the Korean War, like the North Koreans Here's attack the South Koreans, almost take over the entire peninsula. The Americans show up. <laughs> back and forth, back and forth, right? Like, that's, that's one of the most ridiculous wars of all time. They took all the entire South Korea, only small smidgen left, and then they kick it back, kick them all the way to China, and back and forth two, three times. That's an insane war. It's just like, you know, that like basically arm rushing all the way down, and that guy comes back. Like, how does that happen? 
beat the North Koreans back, secure South Korea. At which point MacArthur is ordered to fucking, okay, chill. I'm going to, I'm going to negotiate a peace treaty between North and South Korea. That's what the president told MacArthur to do. MacArthur is just like, nope, fuck it. I'm going to order all of the American forces to advance forward into North Korea, try to take over the entire peninsula, get within 40 miles of China's border, which China is backing the North Koreans because they're all communists. And then China attacks, understandably so, like imagine if Brazil decided to try to take over all of South America and then they stormed up Mexico and got within 40 miles of Texas. Like America would understandably respond, right? Yeah. Seems reasonable. Utterly. Most commonsensical thing of them all. China basically a giant even back then compared to North Korea, right? North and South Korea. If you go all the way to North Korean border, China's going to assume you're still going to like progress. That's the worst case scenario. They have to think about that. And they're like, might as well be us, might as well fight war in North Korea than fight a war in China. Anybody would think that, right? If China suddenly invades Nepal and comes all the way to India, India will attack Nepal and China in turn. Probably attack much faster as soon as attack on Nepal starts, but that's different geography. But yeah, basically that's what would happen. It's commonsensical. General MacArthur should have been smart. How, do, how are you a general and don't see that? You don't just become general because you know battle plan. You need to have some kind of a political sense as well, like where this is going to lead. Really fucking predictable, some would say. And they attack. <laughs> it, it ends up getting a bunch of Marines surrounded by communist forces, gets a bunch of fucking people killed. And then he literally just ignored orders because he thought he was going to be the guy that like made the decision to fucking defeat communism out of nowhere. And it backfires because fucking obviously, and then he never takes any heat for it. Right. So then it kind of just sets the tone of like, okay, well, he's willing to follow orders when it saves his own ass, but he's also willing to disobey orders when he thinks it's going to get him glory and honor. And it backfires the entire time. And I don't like MacArthur and neither do most world war two veterans. And neither does fucking anybody else that kind of like reads anything about the guy. And, uh, yeah, there okay, you except go. Except a really cool sword though. Cut to a that. compilation of him smoking his corncob pipe on camera because he refused to do anything without a camera present. Well, people fucking died. He absolutely Probably wanted to did, do Korea, yeah. yeah. Dude, me. Which I, I know a lot of, uh, it's like the, the, the stereotypical boomer thing. It's like, we should have just let MacArthur nuke Korea, goddammit. Which, no, you know, uh, controversial. Nope. I, I talked to my, my grandparents, or my grandpa was in Korea. Pause. Fucking, what happened to your glasses? What, why am I wearing my... Relax. <laughs> I almost said a name. Relax. We can watch Unsub, yeah. then you can leave. Yes. Jeffrey Dahmer, I wasn't going to mention any gun tubers. You know, there are three of them off the top of my head that I can oh. name right now who have the exact same pair of glasses. Love Bike? them. Love one of them. Bika Bayfield? No. Well, he's one of them, but... <laughs> um, no, the uh, my grandpa who was in Korea fucking hates MacArthur. Most World War II veterans and Korean veterans hate MacArthur. Yeah, well, and uh, I was talking to my grandparents. Yeah, so my... I mean, it's not hard to understand, right? Like, no captain wants to really go down. Life is not cheap. No captain wants to die. But there's a reason they go down with the boat, right? There's a reason behind all that. Like I said, all wars are needless. All death in a war is needless in a way if you think about it. So you can pick and choose, like, why have a needless death? It's, it's, it's more than a symbolism. It's much more than that, right? If you fucking leave at night, like at like 2 a.m. or something, you fucked up while everybody was sleeping. And yeah, by the way, General MacArthur went away. We are all going to die in this kind of a death mass type of way. The fuck is that? What, what you do with that as a whole, whole feel of it? Entire war, basically, beyond that place. Everybody will hear of that. What does that say, right? That's insane. My grandpa, who was in Korea, and his wife, my grandma, um, and like at the time, scandalous. Yeah, <laughs> your grandparents were married. Good God! <laughs> uh, they or it, it, <laughs> go on. <laughs> don't, you, don't you ever say that word about grandma ever again, buddy? But uh, <laughs> have you seen my glasses? Eli will be in my freezer soon enough. <laughs> Um, well, you know, Dahmer only later. killed and ate uh, gay men. I'm going like to so be in his freezer. Like I said, But no, he was like, he was hated at the time. They like called him crazy and shit. And he wanted yep. to fucking nuke North Korea. And they were like, hey, maybe no. 
Yep. But the, you were saying the boomers wanted no. to nuke Korea? Well, it's kind of the stereotype. In, in modern day, it's kind of a boomerism of, we should have let MacArthur fucking... Yeah, that's oh, like, like the, we just need to turn the Middle East to glass. Yeah, that, that sort of thing is what I was getting it's at. It's like yeah. MacArthur has all the negative qualities of Patton and none of the upsides, in my opinion. Yeah. He I, has like I all agree. the character flaws and none of the benefits. When you watch the uh, motion graphic display of, oh, we're good, push... And then you watch China enter. Yeah, China. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Player three enters the battle. Well, that's the other thing. Is and like, then you just see they, swarm. They they Ugh. were the America of their side, as far as that goes. Oh, uh, but I mean, that's, that's my point. It's like he was ordered to stand down, <clears throat> violated orders, and like to me, that's the entire reason why I don't like him. Like he's willing to follow orders to abandon his men in the Philippines, and maybe like maybe that's his moral ethical code. Like he just follows orders. Period. And like, if that's it, like, I don't know if I like it, but like, I can kind of respect it if he's just a dude that, like, if he's consistent, I follow orders, period. No. And like, if he's super ultra consistent with it, I can maybe kind of respect it. But then Korean War happens and he's like, it wasn't good enough it. for Nuremberg. I'm, I'm violating <laughs> orders to get glory. And it's like, okay, so you're not just a dude that follows orders. You're literally just a dude that picks whatever the fuck he wants to do that benefits him the most, putting other people at risk the entire f time. And that's exactly what it is. And it's like, what, like, what did you think was... That is such a good point, right? Even when he abandoned his men, right? The, the morale was kind of fucked. They all died, obviously. Who knows what kind of effect that had all the whole Pacific theater, like the news is going to carry. And also he fucked up in Korea when he didn't, uh, you know, like accept the order, basically made sure that China enters the chat. Otherwise, like, who knows what kind of result they would have if America actually did the negotiation things when they had the upper hand. But no, he put men in danger even then gonna happen when you knew that china was backing north korea and you were like i'm gonna take over the entire fucking korean peninsula and put my soldiers directly on china's border and expect them to do nothing like the most predictable shit on the planet like if i tell eli hey i hate you and i'm gonna murder you and your family also i'm gonna show up to your front doorstep with guns and 50 other people and expect you to do nothing and then eli retaliates and i'm like this is completely unpredictable i have no idea why this <laughs> what? Fucking how happened. did it happen i feel shocked right now i'm so actually I, I, agree with that, but I, I, I would say that even if he was you know his he was so rigid in his obeying orders i disagree with that because all of american military history has been made by men who were told to do one thing and said Fuck that. I have principles. I'm going to do this other thing. I completely agree. I'm just trying to be like ultra Devil's charitable. Yeah. I'm trying to be like ultra charitable. And he still fucks it up with me being as charitable as humanly possible. Like, ultra yeah, factorism meant that basically like i hate everything about this but let's say even if i give you this you have that quality i don't agree with it but even then you don't have the qualities like you're the lowest of the low and i agree with him right but you know that's just fucked up to me that's just completely horrible it's one thing to basically sit here on my chair and say like what i would have done which means nothing what is what nobody knows what how war is until you're there but yeah anybody with like any semblance of like respect and discipline right principles would have basically said like no i'm not leaving this is one of the most fucked up thing are you kidding me at night i'm just gonna fuck off while my men die that's not gonna happen but try to do anything else i could do but stay there that's just fucked up right anybody basically would do that how do you go all the way to becoming a general and don't have that kind of properties how you don't have that kind of principle which means he's just like power hungry guy who just jumped the rank and did what's best for him rather than actually being a better leader Th th that's what it seems. I didn't know about all this about General MacArthur, but yeah, holy shit. That's just fucked up. Right, well, if you like my next one, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.